DNA ligase is very important enzyme to create recombinant or artificial DNA molecules. In addition to DNA ligase, we can use another technique which is called as homopolymer tailing to join DNA from two different sources. So, in we have two populations of DNA or source DNA and we treat it with certain enzymes. We are going to discuss which type of enzyme. Or this enzyme it is provided with only uh, one type of nucleotides. Like in one population of the DNA, we have provided only adenine residues. So enzyme will add adenine residues at three prime ends of first population of the DNA. That may be vector molecule. If we consider the second population of the DNA, it can be treated with another single type of nucleotide basis like thymine. So thymine residues will be added at three prime ends of the second population of the DNA so that single type of nucleotides at three prime end that may be up to 10 to uh, 40 base pairs of thymine residues. So this stretch of uh, thymine residues it is called as homopolymer tailing. So when we will mix two populations of the DNA so because of the presence of adenine homopolymer tail in first population and thymine in, an, in another population. So complementation or complementarity it is there so that two populations they will join together. Now the question is that how we can introduce homopolymeric tails in DNA populations. So uh, this homopolymeric tails can be created by the use of an enzyme which is called as terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase or simply hum isko keh sakte hain ke uh, terminal transferase. What is the source of this enzyme? Uh, it can be isolated from different sources. So one of the source which is most famous it is calf thymus. So thymus it is an organ in vertebrates that produce immune cells in the body, in the immune system. So that when uh, pathogenic microbes invade the body so it can combat and fight with invading pathogens. So this thymus from uh, young cause it can be a good source of terminal transferase. In addition to uh, calf thymus it can be uh, also later from other sources as well and now it has also been produced by cloning this gene from calf thymus into uh, E. coli so we can get uh, terminal transferase uh, commercially as well. So what is the mechanism of action of this terminal uh, transferase? When DNA fragments it is provided with only one type of nucleotides as I mentioned you that population 1. Uh, population 1 of DNA it is supplied with only adenine. So this uh, terminal transferase it will add adenine residues at 3 prime end and in the presence of thymine residues in second DNA population it will introduce only thymine residues and length may be 10 to 40 residues and when these two population they will, they will be mixed so recombinant DNA will be produced. So the joining of DNA by homopoly Meric tails can be explained with the help of diagram. So here we have two populations of the DNA. First population and the second population. So if DNA population it is treated with lambda based exonuclease it will expose 3 prime hydroxyl and 
when they will be exposed it will be a good substrate for the enzyme terminal transferase so if it is provided with only single type of nucleotide and here it is adenine so it will add adenine at three prime ends and means number of nucleotide bases like adenine that has been added by terminal transferase so this is one of the example of homopolymeric tail where only adenine residues has been added in second population of dna again it can be treated with exonuclease so that five prime hydroxyl end may be exposed and then terminal transferase it is provided with only thymine residues so that it will add thymine residue at three prime ends that are complementary with the adenine residues of first population of the dna when they are mixed together annealing it is there because of the complementary homopolymer tails so that when it is introduced into the host organisms the next that are there between the adjacent nucleotides it will be repaired by the host machinery so homopolymer tailing it is also one of the example by which we can join DNA fragments.